Okay, so this is one I'm definitely got to visit very soon. Independence Brewery have a couple beers I really freaking love. Uh, Stash is one of them. I haven't done a video yet, but I'm covering their Pilsner. It's called Native Texan. Yep. And uh, Pilsner, so Pilsner's box and lagers are all essentially the same as their cold fermented is a concept. But obviously, Bach comes out differently. Pilsner comes out a little differently. And lager does. And at first, I said I didn't like lagers. And one person that was working in the beer, and she was like, oh, we, I guess it's uh, the yeast. And I'm like, but I like your lager yeast. It's it's amazing. Because lager wasn't a bad thing for me. You know, I, I enjoyed it. But Pilsner's made the same way. I guess it's just the recipe, the, the way they set it up. And so the styles come out differently. But Pilsner, basically, a lot of uh, European people, they say, oh, lager tastes like piss. But to me, uh, a strong Pilsner tastes like crap just tastes like piss <laughs> i don't know what it is just it's a type of weird funky bitterness that i'm not good with but i love funky i love crazy i like all kinds but the bitterness that americans love they sure as hell don't like so it varies so pilsners in america are usually a little bit lighter and for me it leaves it at the right balance it's like you know when something starts and it's good and then it goes more and it gets better and then it gets too much. So this one's at the good or getting better. It's not at the part that's too much. So doing a classic mug, cause loggers and pilsners, I guess, everywhere you go, this is what you need. So we'll see how it goes. It's very light looking on the body. Mm, very easy drinking. So it's definitely a lighter pilsner, which is still a lager. Eventually the mug will clear up. I went too heavy on it. I right, gotta get better at my pores. Let's see. Uh oh. So obviously I've said it before, having foam or head as they call it, it's not a bad thing. There's traps of flavor. But when you're really thirsty, it gets in the freaking way. <laughs> but we'll go for it. I like it. Yeah, it has just enough of that European style funk that has more flavor than your average lager, but it's clean, still crisp, still amazing. It just has a little, little more punch to it. Ugh. Frosty glass, good color. It's really light. I don't know if you can see it now, but yeah, it's a super light. So it's basically a lager, Pilsner style. Either way, simple, easy. You want to get away from all the mainstream ones. Support independence. I don't know how far they're going. I hope they branch out further and help give more options on lagers and the basic ones. Every time you go, it's Bud Light, uh, Paps, you know, um, was it Lone Star over here? I'm not too big. I haven't touched Lone Star Light. I hear really bad things, but I'm going to have to just take that jump. But for me here, this is one I can recommend to you. This is one you can enjoy especially if you're in Texas, from Texas, love Texas, support Texas. Just go for it, dive in, very easy. Summertime beer, enjoyable, light. You can handle a few, uh, it's gonna be amazing. I am definitely not arguing against this and this is a lot better. I get nervous when anything says pills on it. I can drink to that. Do subscribe, like, share, do all those things. Have other people join me. Let's get this moving. So you can get a lot of information going so more people can just enjoy more good beers. Thank you.